Robert Zavon Pius. Uh, this is a photograph of him from 1939, and also his early and late signature that he used on his work. This is a portrait of a famous tenor, Roland Hayes, 1932, and he was featured in a lot of African-American publications. And this was the drawing that uh, won him uh, an award. This is a portrait of Richard Barth, um, and it shows his ability to um, work in pastels in a painterly fashion. This is from 1938. This is the American Negro Exposition, 1940. It was a poster in Chicago, and uh, it captures an image of a, a proud black man and black woman, and it celebrates the accomplishments of African Americans in science, agriculture, law, and the arts. This next image is a painting of the boxer Joe Lewis in his famous uh, knockout fight with Max Schmeling. This is a huge moment in black history, and um, this was designed to be used as a cover for a pulp magazine, but it was too radical to show a black man knocking out a white man in 1938, so it was never published. This is another illustration that he did for pulp magazine Super Sports, which is dated October 1943. And it's an interior uh, pen and ink illustration. Uh, this is also from Super Sports, October 1943. It's just illustration on boxing. This is another pulp magazine, um, Sports Fiction, Winter 1943. This is a, illustrating a story, Wings of the Underground. It was for Sky Raiders magazine, Spring 1944. Here's a story uh, by Lee Florin, a pretty famous author. I Fight for Fallen Norway for Sky Raiders, Spring 1944. So these are um, fictional stories that appeared in monthly pulp magazines. This is um, Blue Bolt, which was a pretty famous comic book from the Golden Age. It's December 1945. Most people who are fans of R.S. Pius are fans of him because of his work for comic books. This is a portrait of Harriet Tubman. It was oil on canvas, done in 1941. And it was done, you know, during the civil rights movement. A classical bearing of great dignity, and uh, as well as defiance and determination. This is a um, advertisement for Lucky Strike cigarettes that appeared in Amsterdam News, Jan January 25th, 1958. Now, this newspaper was the major uh, newspaper for black people in Harlem. Rather than hiring a famous artist like Norman Rockwell to endorse cigarettes, you have R.S. Pius endorsing Lucky Strikes. This was a, a, fe a feature that appeared in newspapers, including the Amsterdam News. It was syndicated uh, nationwide. It appeared in 1968, and it, it was called Heritage. It's just showing you a historic figure and what they accomplished and sort of celebrating his accomplishments. This is one of his later things. It's Our Baby's First Seven Years. It's just, just simply how to educate and raise the children, but it's uh, described from a black perspective rather than a white perspective. And um, the publication is called the uh, Nubian Press because uh, at that time, uh, one of his great friends, Charles Seifert, has popularized that as a uh, alternative way to refer to um, African ancestry. This is the last picture I have. It's from the artist's senior years. and. Uh, you can tell that you know his face is completely serene and dignified, and it, it uh, conveys uh, his, exactly his approach to art and life.